Welcome back, you guys. Today we have an M&P 45. This is a Gen 1 model slide. Pretty interesting build ahead of us today. Let's quickly discuss it, give you a better understanding of what we're going for as our final image. So, we're first going to start with some Raptor cuts on the top front section here. We want to be able to see a little bit of barrel. Not too much, because it is a 45, but we do want to be able to see a little bit of barrel up there in the top zone. We're also going to be shaving the sides to get rid of this kind of weird, awkward-y cut that they do on the M&Ps. It's also going to allow us to uh, get rid of the M&P 45 and the stainless, so that's going to kind of get all shaved up in through here. And then what we're going to do is a little window. So you're going to see a little window through here, be able to see some little bit of side barrel. We're not going to cut off those front serrations. We want to keep those. Of course, we're going to be matching it up over here to give us a more defined side, to get rid of that Smith & Wesson uh, logo text that they have over here. We'll add that window, be able to see some nice barrel on the right side as well. Now, one of the new things that we're going to be doing here today, which I have not done on one of these slides before, is we're going to be doing a Cobra nose. So I have not done a Cobra nose on a Gen 145, so we're going to run a Cobra nose. Going to be pretty cool overall, looking forward to seeing that. We're also going to be doing a grip upgrade. So as you guys have seen on my 2.0 compact series, we cut through the existing serrations on the back. We end up using a ball nose with precision step over, and uh, it really gives us a better grip. There's more uh, texture on your hand, and uh, we, do, we do a video of this. We have a couple of them that we've done before to kind of demonstrate this. It also kind of gives you a hook in the back, so it's going to kind of look like a bell sort of back here, where it's going to have like a real C shape, because this is going to be lower, so this is going to be higher. So it's really one of those kind of two for ones. One, you're getting more grip. Two, it's almost impossible for your hand to slide off of it, because you're actually going into what would be a smaller zone, and then there's a knob on the back. So definitely, uh, definitely a cool opportunity there to uh, kind of upgrade the weapon, get off of the factory image, and get into something that's a little bit more functional. We're also going to be doing... Uh, a name over here, so we're going to engrave a name over on this side. Want to want to make sure that we have our uh, specific name labeled for our slide. That's what the customer is after. We get a lot of those, and then we're going to be doing Cerakote coloring, and then I'll do a reassemble, bring it back. We'll take a look and see exactly how it came out in the end. Uh, really excited about this one. This is a pretty heavy slide overall, so I think we're not only going to get to see uh, the customization side, which is going to be more aesthetically pleasing because it's just going to look better, but I also think that we're going to end up doing a little bit of a weight reduction here. I don't know if this is a carry piece, a woods carry piece, a, a truck gun. I, I'm not 100% sure what this firearm, firearm is used for or, or is used for, but at the end of the day, what I can tell you is that we are definitely gonna see some weight reduction overall just because of the amount of work that we're gonna be performing on the slide itself. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get over to Tormach 770. Let's go ahead and get this uh, precision work turned out. We're gonna get you guys over to the laser. We'll go ahead and laser engrave that name on the side, do a little bit of Cerakote coloring, bring it back. Take a look at it.
All right, guys, let's take a look and see exactly how this came out in the end as our final product. I think the first thing that I want to say is this is a major overhaul for this particular model. This model's been out for a long time, but man, from where we started to where we are now, this is a crazy transformation. And overall, visually, it's just going to be a very pleasing weapon to carry, to shoot, to show off. A um, lot of changes going on here. Love them all. Let's discuss them. So we ended up going with um, our Raptor cuts on the top. We ended up showing some nice barrel through there. Now we can't come down too far because we end up having a side window here, okay? So on some of our builds that we do, like some of the other MP compacts and things like that, we end up uh, doing a pretty deep, aggressive Raptor cut. We also offer that on the Glocks. And they seem to be pretty deep. Um, one of the things that we had to take into consideration is it is a 45, so that was that was a key factor in this build. Also, the other thing is that we're going to be shaving the sides and doing a side window and we want to make sure that we don't you know, end up cutting that Raptor cut into where would be the window. So we're going to make sure that we uh, proportionally uh, cut everything and everything is just kind of uh, spaced apart correctly. Now, in case you're curious, the distance here. So from where the barrel is to where our Raptor cuts is, it's, uh, it's over an inch, and from here to where our window is, it's, it's uh, just over three quarters of an inch. So it ends up being a pretty big um, amount of lockup room left. We didn't really uh, jeopardize any of the integrity of the build itself. Want to make sure that we're going to have some nice strength from where the barrel locks up to where those windows are to where those raptor cuts are as well. So um, that's, that's kind of where your distances are there. Overall, very, very nice. We ended up shaving the sides, removed that factory text that was over here, gave it a little bit of weight reduction, and opened up the sides for some barrel exposure so we're gonna be able to see some nice barrel out through the sides definitely think that's a cool choice now I don't know what's going on I don't have a barrel here and obviously I don't have a frame here because of what uh, what the particular model is that we're working with today um, so I can't put that together for you I can't can't show you that overall visual but I'm assuming that we're gonna end up going with some kind of a uh, you know either a black a stainless or a gold barrel we'll obviously be able to see that pretty nice out through the side it's gonna look very very pleasing um, we also did the Cobra nose with a small chamfer on the edge here. Gives it a little bit of a nice step down there, just a little bit more uh, detail work instead of just having a solid cut right straight through the side. Definitely going to be wicked. So we're gonna be able to see some nice barrel, some nice barrel, and again, some nice barrel out through the side. I am really loving the design overall. I think it's uh, just, it's a really well designed pattern tied throughout with the top, the sides, the nose. Just able to really see what's going on here. And then of course we did the grip upgrade. We got rid of what would be our factory standard M&P serrations on the back. We ended up getting rid of those. We went with something that was a little bit more aggressive. One of the things that we've discussed in some of the other videos is that we have this kind of a hook, or I, I kind of call it like a bell on the end. If you end up trying to cycle the weapon like this and you have an issue with grip, you always have this as a stopping point or a stopper on the, on the rear zone. Just gives you one extra layer of usage if you're in the event that you need to use something under uh, extreme stress or uh, short short timed um, whether you're you know match shooting or whether it's some kind of an issue um, where you're actually in or a situation you're in this is going to be uh, the game changer so if you happen to be getting into where your hands have an issue with gripping this on the end this hook you literally have your finger inside of a channel so definitely uh, a cool upgrade so something nice um, a big change overall to the visual of the weapon uh, and I think it really ties in well I mean we happen to have a lot going on um, that we've done with this with the nose with the raptor with the sides with the shave sides with the grips in the back and um, I think it just kind of fits it extremely well overall as a final piece now we ended up doing the Reaper 9 that was exactly what they wanted to have engraved on the side overall I really like that I'm always one of these guys that um Likes you guys to, to name, to label, to mark your slides in the event that something is sold, stolen, whatever the case may be. Um, it just kind of gives you that extra layer of like, yeah, that's mine. Um, you know, it's one of those deals where, no, no, we, we both have the same one. I'm not sure whose is whose. Now you know exactly whose is whose. Um, it just adds that extra kind of uh, personalization to the overall build at the end. So I think it's, it's a nice touch. Now, one of the things that you're going to... Um, going to notice here, or maybe you can't tell here, is that we did not do this in the Coyote Tan or the FTE or the Glock FTE. We actually had a special color request, and that was the Barrett Brown. So the Barrett Brown is very similar to our other colors. Um, some of the other ones that we do normally run, like I said, is the Glock FTE. It's a little bit darker under the light here. You can see it. Um, we also run, let's see if we can dig some out here for you. So we also have the Coyote Tan, which is also another tan. And then we also have the regular 
standard FDE, which is just your regular flat dark earth that we have as well. So we happen to run a lot of different variations of the brown color. Um, but I will say overall, this is the first time I've, I've laid some of the Barrett Brown. I'm really pleased with the way that it came out in the end. Some, some colors are, I don't know, some of them you just don't know what you're going to get, whether there's a sheen or whether they're a little bit of, you know, some of the colors have, have like a metallic in them, whether it's going to be gritty or it's not going to be gritty. Um, it laid really well. So overall, I'm really pleased with that. It has a really nice tone to it, just a very slight sheen, um, a little less than what you would get with, say, maybe your, um, your Glock FDE. Um, so there, there's a little bit difference there. So it just happens to be that um, they're all a little different from each other and obviously that's why Serico sells a, a, a different you know line for each one of them but they are very close to each other um, overall so definitely uh, definitely a nice color choice and, and I'm not sure what the detail behind that is maybe that maybe this individual has a Barrett and they want them to match so um, that was one of the special requests that they had but guys if you are not following the channel you're missing out we happen to have a lot of content that has been posted over the last year or so and I'm gonna be honest we have a lot of content that hasn't been delivered quite yet. I think I'm stacked deep almost 20 videos that have not come out. Um, so it, there's a lot of stuff that you guys are gonna get between now and what's gonna be probably the end of the year. So much in fact that if we haven't done so already, um, we are gonna be doing a, um, I don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but we're gonna be doing like a light version of the channel or a quick version of the channel. Got a lot of you guys that are on the go. Got a lot of you guys that just don't have the time to go through and watch a full blown build video. So we're gonna be doing like the three to five minute like videos for a channel and we're gonna have a secondary channel so it's an opportunity to see some of the stuff that maybe doesn't quite make a full build I mean this is obviously pretty intense here we've got a lot going on but we also have a lot of the small stuff that we just do an optic cut and some color or an optic cut and some raptor cuts and some color and I know you guys want to see what your options are I know you want to see what what you um, can choose from you know what I mean so uh, we're gonna try to start turning that stuff out more on our other channel Whenever it does go live and it is up and running, you will see a link at the end of the video on one of the uh, one of the corners to to navigate over there. Um, greatly appreciate if you go over there and subscribe. There's definitely going to be different content than what we're not seeing here, um, just because it's kind of a different uh, it's a different set almost altogether. So um, the the whole uh, mentality behind the channel is is slightly different than this one, and I thought there was enough content to to split it, and um, we'll see how it goes. But um, Instagram. Facebook, those are some uh, definitely some places that you want to, uh, you know, those are some places that you want to reach out to us, see what's going on, uh, follow along a little bit, you know, just kind of get an idea of uh, what we can do for you, what your project can be, and how we can turn your project out. Feel free to go to the webpage, contacts tab, fill it out, let us know what your project is, and um, we'll get your ball rolling on the project. So, um, guys, I'll talk with you on the next one.